The first season of Hasbin Hotel released just a couple of days ago on Amazon Prime. But if you've been a fan of Hasbin Hotel or Vinzy Pop in general, I'm sure you've seen the pics posted by the Hasbin Hotel Twitter account showcasing the redesigns from the characters. Because if you didn't know, the pilot episode of Hasbin Hotel was posted on YouTube five years ago. Five years ago, God damn it! And in the pilot, the characters looked very different. And they definitely did a great job redesigning most characters, but there's just a few that don't sit right with me. Also, this video isn't meant to sit at any part of the show, including the designs, is inherently bad. There are genuinely some very good improvements from the pilot, but as with all things art, it's subjective. This is just my opinion on these particular designs, and I'm not saying my designs are automatically better. Not at all. You should definitely go watch the show if you haven't, because it's actually amazing. Just a few months ago, if you told me that I would be part of the Hasbro Hotel fandom, I dead ass wouldn't have believed that. But seriously, it's a very good show with funny characters, serious and heartbreaking moments, and an awesome soundtrack. Like, I've genuinely have most of these songs in my playlist and listen to them unironically. Like Camilla Carmine's iconic Out For Love song. We first saw her in episode 3 though, at the Overlords meeting, rocking this outfit. Honestly, it was kind of confusing seeing the Overlord, who literally owns the biggest weapon factory in hell, wearing point shoes. I get that her point shoes are made out of angelic steel and it's supposed to be like a hidden weapon, but oh my god, it could have been done so much better. Which is why I think Camilla's design should reflect that strong yet elegant persona of hers. I took inspiration from 1940s western fashion, which at the time was very menswear inspired due to certain events which were going on at that time. With broad shoulders, Firm fitting uniforms, curled hair, and victory red blood in the background. Which, fun fact, is inspired by victory red lipstick from the 40s. Like that ass, American women were told to wear red lipstick to boost morality at that time. Next up is fan favorite Angel Dust. Now, first off, their design isn't bad, there's just some things I don't like about it. For example, the random bow tie and the striped shirt, which is why I completely got rid of them. As we all know, Angel Dust's soul is owned by his abusive boss Valentino, which I definitely wanted to incorporate into his design more. Because in the Hasbro Hotel universe, the eye color shows the state of their soul red meaning you own a soul, and black meaning your soul is owned. Which I personally really like because it highlights the fact that his soul is only partially owned by Valentino, which we see in episode 6. Who's this chiquita? You bringing me fresh meat? Oi! I just want a taste. Ah, weird, but there's a kink for that, I'm sure. Fuck off, Val. Excuse me? I said fuck off. I may have to put up with your bullshit, but you ain't fucking with any of my friends. You forget who you're talking to? I own you, bitch. <clears throat> yeah. You do. In the studio. And you can do anything you want to me there. Just like our deal says. But out here, I get to do what I want. So once again, fuck off. Enjoy the rest of your night, bitch. Because I'm going to enjoy making you pay for it tomorrow. I took inspiration from 1940s hooker. I mean women of the night. I also wanted to highlight the fact that he is a spider, which we all have very long legs, so I took the opportunity to elongate his legs. To put it bluntly, his design is a drug-snuffing, cock-suckling hooker home from the 40s. Next up is the great almighty from heaven himself, Adam! Sarah. Now Sarah is supposed to be a seraphin. Tradition places seraphins in the highest rank in Christian angiology and in the fifth rank of ten in the Jewish angelic hierarchy. A seminal passage in the book of Isaiah, 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 Isaiah 6, 1 through 8, used the term to describe six-winged beings that fly around the throne of God crying holy, holy, holy. So basically, she's a bad bitch. We actually saw Sarah and Emily portrayed in a more biblical, accurate way, just for a few seconds though. Morning, Star. Oh, fuck, yeah, oh, <laughs> yikes, am I right? Are you sure you're the right place? Cause I think you might be a little lost. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. No, uh, we're, we're here for a meeting. St. Peter, we can take it from here. 
Greetings, daughter of the Morning Star. Did you see that? Yeah, that lasted for not even three seconds. I really miss the fact that seraphims were made by God just to worship him in her design. So besides the biblical description, I also added some elements that made her more servant looking rather than authoritarian looking. Like the praying hands, a big poofy dress rather than the firm, slim fitting one from her original design. As well as a general look upwards, symbolizing that, I don't know, she's reaching for God or something. Okay, that's it for today. I originally wanted to redesign more characters like Husk or Mimsy, but there was just not enough time for me. So we're left with three characters instead of five. But besides, go watch Husband Hotel if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel or else.